Welcome to the Wexford County Council IMAPS public viewer. First of all, when you hit the IMAPS URL, you will be presented with a disclaimer from Wexford County Council. So please read and it gives you lots of information in relation to planning data and other data, etc. So if you're happy with all that, you can hit enter and you're presented with a map viewer like the following. As you can see, the layer list widget is always on. And if we hover over any of these, it'll tell you what the different widgets are. Widgets are tools on the map viewer that allow you to do certain things. So that's the layer list, measurement tool, base map gallery, and your print widget. And on the left hand side then, we've obviously the zoom in and zoom out, but if you roll the mouse, this will also work. If you left click on the mouse and just drag, it allows you pan the map as well. So we'll zoom into an area, zoom into Wexford, and the mapping refreshes. So, while that's doing that, if we select uh, the first widget here on the left-hand side, the search widget, and under the arrow here, you have a drop-down. So we have some uh, searches uh, configured. So if we search by planning application, it gives you a little tool tip to explain what you can search by. So we can search by uh, planning reference number. So if I uh, search for 2007-0602 and I hit search, it goes off and finds the planning application and it gives you a little pop-up for that very application. So as you can see, there's the planning number, the address, the decision, description, etc. And if you scroll down here, you'll see the click for street view and click for the file docs. So if you select click here for street view, it opens up a new tab. In this instance, because the uh, Department of Environment Building is not adjacent to public road, obviously street view can't work. It, it can only work for applications that are near an existing road. So it's just going to go to the layer list here and turn planning applications on briefly. And we're going to click on a point that's adjacent to a road. So if we click on this one here and we scroll down and click for street view, it will call the street view application. And there you go, there's the ESP substation just beside uh, Bolands and before the turn off for Wexford General Hospital. Okay. So that's Street View from a planning application and likewise you can select the file documents. So if I go back to my 2007-06-02 and we scroll down and we get our doc file documents and you can expand that and go into the application form or the site layout map for example, select a PDF and it'll download and show you the layout of the Department of Environment building. So that's the document management system, there's lots of information in there that might be useful. We can do a search by uh, air codes. So if you hit the X, you, it will give you the tip for each of the searches. So once again, address finder, uh, and lat long, electoral divisions, enter ED name, uh, townlands, enter the townland name, and likewise, enter an air code uh, address. So we could go sales car and hit return and it will throw back a certain number of air codes. So if we jump to all those, it shows you Nosh and Coffees, Bambinos, all the different businesses around uh, Selscar. Okay, and we have quite a few results there as you can see for Selscar, so you can be more accurate with your, your address search. So it searches by address and it searches uh, very specific to Wexford and it, it uh, searches by air code. Likewise, we have, as I said, all the other searches. Okay, the next widget then, uh, the draw widget. So if we focus on Redmond Square, so I'm just going to turn off the planning applications for the moment and we zoom into an area here in Redmond Square. And as you zoom in, the mapping improves and here's Redmond Square and there's the train station. So supposing you want to do a little sketch, you hit, select the draw widget and we'll select a polyline, which is a multi-sided line and we will go with red line, so select the style, and you can also select show measurements if you want to uh, measure the line as you draw. So we just move that to the left hand side. You can anchor it wherever you like, and we'll draw an area here, for example. So let's say Irish Rail want to redevelop this area, for example, hypothetically speaking. Double click to finish. It gives you 120 meters, and if you wanted to select area, uh, select a multi-sided polygon so we we'll go green and we we'll just digitize again completely hypothetically a an area of interest so and we double click and it gives you in square kilometers and the, the perimeter in meters so you can have fun with that that's your draw widget so if you want to clear it 
just select clear you can undo which or redo the last item or undo all items so we redo and we just hit clear so that's your draw widget okay next is the street view we already mentioned that under planning applications you can find street view for a, a property if it's adjacent to a road so we can also call the street view widget here now the first time you do this and you drag the little man onto a roadway you will get a pop-up blocked so if you select that and say always allow pop-ups for maps.wexler.e which is the council website public facing website you should be good to go for any future use of the google street view widget so close out of it launch it again drag your map to a location and sure enough street view works and as you navigate around the map you can see the little man it shows you the direction in which uh, the little man is looking okay so that's your street view widget so we close all that you can bookmark something so we can add a bookmark so redmond square and we'll hit add and we'll just move that to the left and we'll zoom out and we'll add Wexford Bridge so we'll zoom in at that level and we'll hit add so if we jump to those then it jumps to the different locations really quickly so it's handy if you're trying to revisit a particular location that you had previously found okay and we close that so back to the layer list then so I'm rolling out my mouse here at the moment and the next thing we can do is, as we already said, turn on the planning applications and supposing you wanted to search for protected structures. So we do PROT under the search icon and under historical protected structures, that might be the one we want. You have shellfish protected areas under environmental information. So the search is really, really useful to find the data you're looking for. So as we zoom in on an area, okay, that map is quite busy at that level, we can see protected structures. So if we click on that icon, it gives you protective structure WBC0028. Um, this is an NIH AH reference number and that's the National Inventory of Architectural Heritage. There is a website that links that reference number on the development plan to the NIH ref. And if you click on this, it brings you to that very building uh, on the website. And there's Redmond Square and there's all the information related to that monument. Okay. So that's quite useful. If you want to see what's active, if you want to turn off a layer, we might just select the active and turn off the planning applications. And there you go. Okay, so that's pretty much the layer list. If you remove the search, you get the full suite of GIS layers that are available. So the measure tool then again, will select the distance from there to there and it gives you a measure of 138 meters. Likewise, you might like to measure the area of this building. So we'll crudely digitize this multi-sided shape and it's 2,500 odd square meters. Okay, you can also get lat long for a particular location. There you go. And you can change it from degrees to DMS, degrees, minutes and seconds. Then we have the base map gallery, which is really nice. We have lots of useful mapping. And here's some 2016 aerial mapping that we commissioned. There's the new extension to the uh, the hospital, which is shown on, on the aerial photos. Okay, so totally new road design going into the hospital, reflected in the most recent aerial photography that you can get. You can obviously switch that to your 2012 aerials, and you'll see you'll get quite a different picture. No extension here at all. Uh, your 2005 and it's a much smaller uh, imprint, different entrance into the hospital, for example. We have some fabulous old uh, six inch mapping, uh, complements of the OSI, and you can change and turn on all those maps as you see fit. And what was there on that site, uh, there's the old Union Workhouse, and you can change and get just a different view of the mapping over time. It's really, really useful. For those that hill walk, there's your discovery mapping, your one is to 50,000 and we can pan by just clicking on the mouse, holding it down and dragging. You can go to a, an upland area and see the contours, the lie of the land, etc., which is discovery mapping. And then finally, we might want to print something. So supposing you need to print a map for Bulatara and you want to put on a townland. So we'll go back to our layer list. We'll expand it and we'll type in townland and we'll turn on the townland layer and we select Bulatara and sure enough, there it is. So that's that townland. So we want to print that map. So we might zoom out a tad and it gives you a visual of that townland. You can select it if you want. And then we'll hit print and add your title here, Bulatara. 
uh, A4 portrait, go to PDF. You have all sorts of image types if you want as well. And we'll go to print. So there's your PDF with the title. And we open that and there's Buladora, Townland, select it, highlight it, and center it on the map. You have your legend, you have a scale bar, and we can download that then or just hit print. So that's pretty much it from the GIS section of Wexford County Council. I hope you enjoyed the new iMaps public viewer. It, just to point out that it, this will work on your iPhones, your Android phones and tablets, etc. We have two links here. We have an iMaps help document and an iMaps help video. I uh, hope you enjoy watching and I hope this is of use to you.